B I N L. A sign of quality. Slow walking through a puddle of gasoline at the gas station. Monster Go Go. Finally, a movie for our times. Introducing George Perry as the Go Go. There's a lot of people in this. Not one of them has ever been anything else, but you know. Special. How can you have a special guest star in a movie? Monster Go. Leonard Gelstein. Go Monster Go. Original music by the other three. It's the Kings and Trios, uh, arch nemesis. Screenplay by Jeff Smith, the Fruber Gourmet. Bill Rebane. One of Wisconsin's finest filmmakers. Previously on Monster a Good What you're about oh. to see may not even be possible within the narrow limits of human understanding. Well, then, then why are we showing you? A space capsule is rocketed into orbit on schedule. This, that's the helicopter. Its mission to observe new objects circling the Earth. Satellite this which car. formation had launched. As the capsule reached its orbit, communications with it suddenly went silent. Capsule. A search team headed by Colonel Steve Connors Hi, began Steve. an intensive search of the entire area. W what area is that? What, North America? So they mic'd an actual walkie-talkie. In a wooded area not far from the Space Agency Astrophysical Laboratories in Chicago, Observers reported that a strange object mm -hmm. had fallen mm -hmm. to It's Earth. not that big of an urgent deal or anything. Okay, oh, we went a long distance then. What? Was found something. The space capsule? No, it's again, there's a helicopter. How does it work, Jim? It's Charlie Brown's teacher. Sitting in the car backwards. Ooh, hey! Uh, you're supposed to say over after you tell, after you make a guttural sc screech. Jim, do you read me? Come in, Patrol Two. What happened? Sounded like he was in trouble. Oh, I wonder what possibly could have happened. We better take him off. Flood it. Four-wheel drive vehicles of the 50s. Get that cat off the piano. Here at Johnson's Stick Farm. Without question, this was the capsule that had put Douglas into orbit. Oh, well, And without really, question, without... Douglas was gone without a trace. Yeah. Hey Douglas, you in here? 
Oh, it's the Madge. The Madge on the counter. Okay, is, is the capsule behind that fake capsule, or what? The helicopter pilot who had discovered the capsule was dead. Horribly mangled in a way no one had ever seen before. Ugh, I've never seen that before. Meanwhile, Alfred Hitchcock comes to visit. Oh, Laura, how are you? How's Jimmy? Oh, he's fine. I just sent him over to Mrs. Williams. Hi. Who's Jimmy? Have some coffee? No, no thanks. Huh? Yes, please. Ah, now that we've got that settled. Ah, did they know the camera was on? Oh, okay. Framing, it's just it's perfect. It's about Frank, isn't it? Ruth, what makes you say that? Came back. Oh. What about Frank? I don't know. He had all the emergency equipment he needed, but but he horribly mangled someone. Oh, now what is it all about? Alfie it was a success. The capsule did come back. Well, that's yeah. We don't care about the guy inside. Don't know whether the radiation repellent worked or not. I know I shouldn't feel this way. It's his life. But it's his life. Everything's his life. Thanks, my father. Oh, Ruth, honey, just try not to even think about it right now. What am I going to tell Jimmy? Would you like me to spend the night? Oh, yeah. How do I get my mind off things? I've got to get back to the lab room. Thank you for so the coffee. Anything I can do. Thank you, Scott. And scene. Oh, Hi, hey. Hi, Who are you? Jimmy, I thought you were over Mrs. Williams. I had to get some more rocket parts. One's Uncle Frank. Uh, well, honey, he won't be back for a while yet. Remember, he went on a long trip. He promised to take me fishing. Well, some trips are longer than we expected. Some trips go on for the but rest of eternity. Mommy. Mommy's not feeling very well. Suppose you go upstairs when we're all through, we'll have a nice big ice cream soda, huh? Yeah, get out of here. Laura, I can't take any more. Oh, wow. That's... that's... a, 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 a phone. Okay. Mm hmm? Yes, Mr. Hitchcock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to share it with the rest of the, uh, the film? I probably shouldn't have told you half of the information without knowing the whole details. Man, she's sleeping over. She wants to be with him. Man, this, you could cut the sexual tension with a with a machete in this movie. Traffic on 90 is light today. Wait, I want to come with you. No, Ruth, you stay here. Please. You stay here in the no. middle of this field. This field's even popular. Oh, Inspector, I see you've reached the same conclusion I have. We don't know, sir. We were having contact with him from the ground car. Suddenly, he let out a yell and then went blank. It's mangled in a way no one's ever seen I've before. I've never seen anything like it. He shovel up like a dried prune. Nah, we, we wish like we had the money to show that. But it didn't touch his hair or his clothes. Huh, weird. What about the capsule? That's what's left of it. He didn't have a chance. I think my, his spaceship knew which way to go. Yes, what do you Inspector. Make they look like severe burns. What could have caused such burns? Uh, something hot. I don't know. Probably some kid's prank. Yeah, which presumably I has nothing to do with our crashed spaceship. Oh, good. Now, what about the capsule? The equipment's on the way now. All right. But I want you to stay here until it arrives. I don't want anyone stealing, stealing that capsule. Dr. Logan has had a chance to examine it carefully. All right, Dr. Trump. <laughs> We'd better get mm. back to the lab. There's nothing more we can do here. Nora? 
What are we gonna tell Ruth? Tell the thin man the truth. Can we call? What do you mean? There's no real proof that Douglas is dead. There's, There's no, no real proof that Douglas is dead. Maybe we shouldn't tell her anything. Let's keep her in the dark. Nobody hopes for a miracle more than I, Henry. There's no sense grabbing at straws. Even assuming he was blown clear of the wreckage before his oxygen ran out. The wreckage here is enough to tell the story. Ooh. I'm not convinced. In the funhouse. The condition of that body. Something's not right. We'll probably get the facts in the laboratory. Yeah, that's Maybe usually what right. happens. End scene. Meanwhile, at the laboratory. I thought you'd been home. You went to my mind. When did you get back to the lab? I never been home either. I kept thinking about the body. And I'm about the castle. Here I am. But I'm trying to find an answer. So, here I am. Did you come up with anything? Take a look. You know enough about these things. When the first blade lifts the hair, the second blade cuts. But it's different, though. Uh, have you seen anything quite like it? I took it from Taylor's body. He was literally cooked to death in a matter of seconds. Oh, oh wow. We can harness this or some, make some kind of kitchen utensil. You and for the capsule came back with radioactive energy. The capsule didn't kill Taylor. Here, look at this Taylor knew that she was trouble when she walked in. And he sat the letter. Normal? It is. No radioactivity. Yeah, you can tell that from a microscope. Remember the scorch mark on the ground near the body? Whoa. Whatever killed Taylor stood, or was placed right where the body was. Analysis of the grass from that spot showed clearly the same effect as on Taylor's body. Henry, I know what you're driving at, but could it be possible? But we're into the uh, Q dimension here. Why not? The north cone of the capsule did. Open. I'm aware of that. Maybe both know where it opened when it passed over our radio station. What the heck is what? Now, even if I go along with you on the assumption that the Douglas is back, where is it? And why should it be radioactive? I, I, I don't know. Probably they have something to do with the I fact that we're shifting in and out of reality. But my brother and I are working on it. Let's face facts. Ah, uh, the My Brother and I Laboratories. Two. I'm not Peter Sellers. By an unknown force. Three, we know an excessive amount of radiation came back with the capsule. And four, Douglas is missing. But the radiation is what bothers And he's late for his debate with Lincoln. Dr. Manning is with? No, not yet. And I was Dr. Manning was 50 feet tall. At least until we have some more answers. I need a little more time. Well, it's entirely up to you, Henry. Take as much time as you need. It's not an urgent it's priority or anything. Well, See ya. Good night. Wouldn't want to be a... That was a great scene. The DC-3 was the workhorse of the fleet. of the fabulous 50s. <sighs> we really don't need to film all of this, do we, Bill? No, we do? Okay. The episode was considered important enough oh, for the narrator's back. head of the project, Dr. Chris Manning, to make an emergency visit. This is Dr. Chris Manning. We have such a short time to visit. How are you, Connor? Fine, thank you, General. Dr. Chris Manning, Dr. Schreiber, Captain Connor. Dr. Schreiber? This is a real pleasure. I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. Oh, yeah. Fine, Doctor. I've been impressed with some of your theories. I'd like to discuss them with you one day. Fine. Well, I'd like that. We have no time like the present. I pulled Chris off a vacation to come down here with me. After Logan told me about the pilot, I decided it was time to break security and bring you two together. 
I would like to examine the body as soon as possible. We should be finished with the report by now. We can go to the hospital directly if you like. Fine. I'll fill you in on the details on the way over. Maybe we should have just gotten in the car and gone. What? I can't hear I can't hear anything. What? No, no, Mr. Vice President, it's safe. You can get in, I guarantee it. No, no, Miss, no, the President said it was fine. Get in. Oh, dropped something off the plane there. Well, well, 